Hello, I'm Sam, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the arch nemesis of logging in with test automation. That's right, 2FA. If an application has MFA enabled, normally an automation tool cannot get past it because it requires a physical code to be entered that rotates every 30 or 60 seconds. We took this challenge on and have provided a solution in Does QA. Let's hop into the app now to see how it's done. Inside of DeskQA, within the Settings MFA option on the menu, you're able to add, remove, edit, and view your MFA tokens from here. To add a new token, click the plus icon on the right. Here we give it a title, and then we need a secret. So let's call this new GitHub example. And from here, we're going to add the secret. I've already set up MFA on my GitHub account over here, the test one. But what you can do is edit it and it will give you a new QR code. Most of the time you'll see an unable to scan and get the setup key for manual, th manual configuration. Clicking on that, it will give you a secret. Copy this secret over into DoesQA into the MFA secret box and then you're able to click verify. Upon verification, you'll get your new six digit code and a timer for how long this code is valid for. You're able to select the code and paste that into whichever website you're using. So in this account, we're going to go over and paste this into here, remove the spaces, and you see that it's given us a tick. We can save this now. And now this account, my DoesQA MFA test account is using the new authenticator. And in back over here, we can now tick it. And that's now set. As mentioned earlier, within this view, you're also able to get tokens live. This might be that you're manually recreating a test case or that you want to log in with the account. Simply click the button over here and you'll be able to see the code generated live for you. Jumping into using the MFA tokens within DoesQA and within test cases, there is a new action node called set MFA. This node has a simple configuration, much like most of our other nodes. And here you just select which key you want to use and what element you want it to type the code into. Down here, I've already set up a flow for logging into GitHub using the code. Now, because it was using the old GitHub example, this should no longer work. Let's update this node to have the new GitHub example and click play to run the test. Perfect. Now that test case is completed, let's have a look at the result. As we can see here, we're going down and logging into GitHub. And by the time it's finished entering the MFA token, we're logged in. For information purposes, the code used is also displayed below the test case. And if you wanted to generate a new code, if you're recreating this test yourself, click the icon here and it will give you a new token that's live. Utilizing our MFA node, you're now able to still keep the levels of security required by your organization, all while still being able to automate through it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is just one of our many nodes and look forward to showing you much, much more of DoesQA.